It's time for a half life from Tapolo announcements. The fuck is this? All right, so uh, Half Life and Portal uh, developers uh, basically came out and released this new information on the new Steam OS uh, as a Linux-based system. Uh, we all hoped that they were going to release some Half Life Portal information, you know, something that you know people give a fuck about. But apparently, this is what they have to offer right now for their first uh, press conference that they just had a couple of hours ago. Uh, according to Valve site, uh, SteamOS combines the rock solid architecture of Linux with a gaming experience built for the big screen. It will be available as soon as a free standalone operating system for living room machines. Okay, question. Is this like a Steam box or is it like Vita TV? What the fuck? Is this a Roku box? What is this damn thing? Like everyone I've seen is confused as fuck because this is like... It's available for machines, or uh, are they making a machine for this? I don't know, but uh, continuing on, uh, we've come to a conclusion that the environment best suited for delivering value to customers in an operating system built around Steam itself. Uh, SteamOS will tie in with Steam, and you don't have to give up your favorite games and your, and your friends online. Uh, all the Steam features you love just play on the big screen uh, with the Steam OS running in any living room machine. Wait. On any living room machine, so is it, so is that like a DVD player? Because I know there's no way in hell that PlayStation and Xbox is gonna allow this shit. So what the fuck else does it run on? Does it run on cable boxes? Does it what the? F oh, this makes no fucking sense. Carry on. Uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, it can run on, on any living room machine. It will provide access to the best games and user-generated content available. Uh, they said it's been achieved significant performance increases in graphics and processing, and now we're targeting audio performance and reductions in input latency. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Steam is not the only way content broadcasts uh, on this channel. Uh, collaborative to many uh, entertainment platform in which the participant is a multiplier of experiences for everyone else. Uh, with Steam OS, happy uh, openness means that the hardware industry can uh, iterate the living room experience at a much faster than they were actually capable of. Uh, what the fuck are they talking about? This is like technical speak. This sounds like I'm reading the back of a Campbell's soup can. Like, is it one serving in it or is it two servings in it? Uh, what the fuck? I hate this shit. Okay, keep keeping it on. Uh, they all know that you get uh, four new features. That will be integrated into the Steam uh, OS. Uh, in home streaming, a machine running Steam OS will be able to stream games running on your existing computer to your TV. So it's like a Vita TV, right? Right? Uh, family sharing, uh, as Val previously teased, uh, multiple people will be able to take turns playing games within a single stream Steam account uh, while earning their own achievements and saving their own progress to the cloud. Ah! Uh, I want no fucking power of the cloud. Uh, media services. Valve says they're working with many uh, media services you know and love to allow your favorite music, video, and Steam and uh, Steam OS family options. Uh, you'll have more control over what titles you sing by whom. Basically, parental controls. So if you're going to be eight years old trying to play some game, uh, your parents might not allow it. Yay! Uh, according to Valve, hundreds of games are already running on uh, natively on Steam OS. Uh, and announcements in the coming weeks will show off AAA titles coming natively to Steam OS in 2014. The full Steam catalog will be accessible for uh, in-home streaming, as well as access to Steam Cloud, Steam Workshops, and all friends and features in Steam. Steam OS will be constantly evolving and will continue to deliver not only valuable game updates directly from content makers, but also regular additions to new features to the OS itself. Uh, the app says Steam OS will be available as soon as it's free to download for users as freely licensed operating systems and manufacturers. And it's testing two more, it's teasing two more announcements that are going to happen on Wednesday, September 25th at uh, 10 o'clock Pacific. What the fuck did they just say? I read it. You read it. Everyone fucking read it. But this is like they're releasing it for multiple platforms. 
Everyone thought it was going to be either a Steam box. Is it for Ouya? Okay. So, for all those people that spend all this money on a fucking gaming PC, that they can stream it with some box or something like that? Because that would be cool. It would be cool. Because you want to lug around your gigantic PC. But at the same time, are they going to make a home console for this? Because then that would threaten, like, the whole PC Master Race. And, you know, their claim on the having the most powerful system if they just put in a tiny box. And how the issue is going to work with it working online? Because you put it on laptops and for Windows. What the fuck is going on? I feel, what the fuck is going on? Like, I wish they came out and just talked about, you know, actual hardware. They had some hardware. Tell us about the hardware first. Give us the operating system later. Don't reverse it and have everybody guessing what the fuck you're talking about. And for those of you who wonder if I actually have a PC, yes, I have a gaming PC. And I just upgraded it. Uh, I'm about to upgrade it this afternoon to uh, my, uh, yeah, my Gigabyte HD uh, freaking Radeon 7950. So, uh, yeah, it's got a 3 gigabytes of RAM. So, uh, I'm not just visiting the fucking PC gaming. I'm actually joining this whole entire thing and going deep inside of it. And if I could just buy another box, I had to put one downstairs too. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but you got to be a little bit more clear than this. This is confusing as all hell. And for anybody who's watching this right now, if you ain't confused by this, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Because everyone is saying the same thing. Yay. Uh, that's all I got about this subject right now. We'll bring out more information as it becomes available uh, as soon as possible. Uh, I'll holler at y'all later because I'm about to make another video about this whole entire Sony debacle with their freaking system failing and oh, live on TV and all this other bullshit. So uh, I'll holler at y'all later.